Point will be.
गेम का नाम डाला क्या हाँ वही कुर्सी है कि यहाँ पे अरे वो कुर्सी दे दी अरे नहीं यहाँ बैठ रहे हवा आ रही है वहाँ पे Hello and welcome to the last final game we have at This is the last sixth game uh, Sorry for the delay in commentary This is Tahir and we have also Bhavya, the owner of Icebreakers doing commentary with me today So Bhavya bhai, what do you, what do you think uh, after looking at this game? Do you have any opinions? Right uh, Thank you so much Tahir uh, and first of all guys welcome to the opening day of MUL season 2 uh, brought to you by Refex organized by off season ultimate uh, as you can see from what the what is the live feed that you're watching this is the last game two games are going simultaneously the one that we are commentating on as you can see it is the bomb squad versus afterburners Kunal Jakta we'll just update on the score as well you can already see it on the screen Sagar now has the uh, disc, he's just passed it to Akhil. Swayam is on the outside. He should swing. Yes, swing, and that's open. Now, Jaktab is asking for uh, Kunal Jaktab is asking for the disc, but he has not passed it. Kafi sir, handler moment. He actually chal raha hai. There is a chance, an open opportunity which should be thrown. Uh, Tahir to Kunal. And the score, as you can see, is three all, three each. And Steffi has got that. She's now looking to center it to Shushma who is basically playing from flying spirits she's a very highly high, highly rated player Sagar has the disc again uh, clogging lane ka chal raha hai zone khel rahi hai after burners Jainesh basically jo hai wo bohut hi bade mark hai Sagar ne around fake ke one two kiya hai again Kunal is asking for the disc I think they should just keep some patience now they should just keep some patience and oh Almost there, almost there. What a wonderful bid by AP over there. 
बाय के पी ओ देर ऑनेस्टली बहुत ही अच्छा था एंड अखिल विद द स्कोर एंड दी असिस्ट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम सागर सो जैसा आपने देखा दिस बेसिकली वॉज तो जैसा कि आपने देखा द स्कोर सो द स्कोर इज नाउ गॉन टू फोर थ्री विच इज बेसिकली बॉम्ब स्कॉड वर्सेज आफ्टर बर्नर्स आई थिंक देव जस्ट कॉल फॉर अ टाइम आउट बिकॉज यू कैन सी बॉम्ब स्कॉड जस्ट टेकिंग लिटिल बिट ऑफ टाइम दे फॉल द सर्कल दे आर रिलैक्सिंग विच मीन्स दैट देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ अ टाइम आउट so uh, tahir what is it that you thought about this point uh, from my uh, from what i saw i thought that kafi pehli wo thode shots le sakte the they could have done that but they walked up the dish showed a lot of patience made sure that the cup gets a little tired kept on throwing arounds and then finally a very very good bid uh, by kp almost got it but missed it an akhir score Yeah, I think he missed it. He misjudged the disc, and he went for the disc. I think if if he would have stayed a little back, one foot back, he would have got that disc and a D. Uh, but overall, I think Bomb Squad is having a lot of patience on the disc. The way they are, uh, I'm quite impressed by seeing them playing against the zone also, and the way they are playing against the zone is uh, going very well for them. So this is Bomb Squad's second match, and also after Burner, का भी ये second match है. Uh, Bomb Squad played against the Ice Breakers uh, in their first match, and uh, it was a very, very close match. Uh, Ice Breakers won just by a couple of points. And uh, after Burners, after having a challenging season, MUL season one, may this time they have a much, much bigger squad as you can see. Last year, unfortunately, uh, they had a lot of injuries, unavailability at the last minutes. But this year, they have already. won their first match and uh, this the way it's going it looks as if there's going to be a very close contest uh, between the two teams uh, if if you get a little bit of time or agar aapko pre game live show dekhna hai so that was also held yesterday with a few of the owners uh, for for the MUL season 2 where a lot of things were discussed which is a lot of fun as well um, so in case if you want to check that तो आप वो भी चेक कर सकते हैं बिकॉज उसमें काफ़ी सारी इंसाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन काफ़ी सारी मस्ती बहुत सारी ऑप्शन के बारे में द प्लेयर्स वो बेसिकली गॉट एंड हाउ द स्क्वाड्स वो बिल्ड पीपल हैव एक्चुअली एंड ओनर्स हैव स्पोकन अबाउट दैट सो इफ यू गेट अ लिटल बिट ऑफ टाइम एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू यू गेट दैट एंड यू चेक इट आउट इज वेल Now the lines have already been called. Bomb Squad is still huddling up. They're going to do a nice cheer. The cheer is quite interesting. On the afterburner side, I can see Nirba. I can see uh, Charanya. I can see Varun. Uh, I can see Hardik, who's the captain. He's basically giving the uh, giving the instructions of what needs to be played. I can see Sit Tataria, and Arav and Kunal are also basically gone inside. uh strong line i think uh, uh tahir uh i think uh, they've got a very good uh, female lineup as well because sharnia was of course playing for ice breakers last year and this time we did bid for her but unfortunately we couldn't get her but uh, nirbha sharnia even chavi as well plays quite decent ye kafi acha lineup hai right uh, for girls especially we have one of the best female lineups which is which i feel Uh, on bomb squad we have sagar we have krish uh, we have uh, i think angvi is there we have sushma on the line and steffi is there and i think we have vikas thakur and puneet also on the line i think they are going full out with their defense right now so the disc has been pulled arav gets it now there's a, so they are playing a zone but there's some really fast swings will it be saved oh no should have just shown a little bit of patience and break karne ka chance abhi basically uh, wapas uh, they could have actually gone made it equal honestly shushma is on the disc she throws around it's it's a person call 
he's absolutely been poached uh, a player which means that there's a different Hello. strategy that they're playing and shushma again one of the strongest females puts it and that is a score to krish so primarily if you will see most of the teams have actually built the squads around kafi sare unke jo known players hai jaise agar bomb squad ke bare mein baat kare so you will see that lot of the players who they already picked basically are from surat because sagar is also the coach and also the captain uh, akhil is the spirit captain of course you know that uh, he is the owner as well we all love him a lot uh, so primarily aap agar dekhoge so bomb squad mein almost 7 to 8 9 players jo hai wo surat se hi khelte hain which is krish manav uh, then you have your sagar you will have viha you have angini uh and a uh, lot of the other players as well on the other side if you see so after burners basically a, the owner is obviously atir uh the captain this year is uh, hardik who plays for jimbesh of course we all know him and we really like him a lot as well so he is primarily built a lot of his team from pune because uh, ani or jo hai jo aaye the auction mein he is also from pune and of course atir is also originally from pune and he spent a lot of time there uh, so a lot of their players are actually from dispositive and flying spirits सो प्रेफरेंसेस आप अगर देखेंगे तो काफ़ी सारे ऐसे हैं दैट्स वाई यू आर सींग लॉट ऑफ गुड केमिस्ट्री बिटवीन द प्लेयर्स टाइम राइट ये वाला जो अभी स्कोर भी किया वो ऐसा लगा कि काफ़ी अच्छी केमिस्ट्री है सो दैट केमिस्ट्री इज ऑन डिस्प्ले एंड हैविंग सेट दैट स्कोर इज नाउ बिकम फोर ऑल फाइव थ्री फाइव थ्री टू बम स्क्वाड विच मीन्स दे हैव टेकन अ ब्रेक और उन्होंने एक लीड भी ले ली है नाउ इफ दे जस्ट प्ले पेशेंटली आई थिंक दे शुड हैव अ क्लीन क्लीन फिनिश टिल दी एंड द लाइन ऑलरेडी देर आई कैन सी स्वयं ऑन द लाइन आई कैन सी सुषमा आई कैन सी विराग आई कैन सी कुनाल जगताब आई कैन सी आंगनी एज वेल एंड ऑन द अदर साइड हार्दिक इज स्टिल गिविंग सम इंस्ट्रक्शन आतेर इज ऑन द लाइन यू कैन सी निर्भा यू कैन सी शारण्या यू कैन सी हार्दिक यू कैन सी अनी and you have parshuram who plays for dt who is a good safe handler as well hardik swings it so they are playing the zone uh, although it's not very windy so i'm not really sure if uh, although uh, it's not windy so i'm not really sure if playing the zone is the is the right thing to do but thodi si wind aisa lag raha hai ki aa rahi hai because zone thak na jaye hardik looking for a swing he swung it to atir uh, they should actually use sharanya and ani both are cutting at the same place there don't seem to be any in cuts which are coming uh, at this point of time atir back to the disc and again atir is looking for someone Hardik basically they need to swing it around now if Arthur actually swing yes he does swing it to he just pop it to Parshu now the field is absolutely open if he just sends it to Sharanya you can get a score but Ani waiting easily that's a beautiful cut up line will they be easily scoring yes they do and that is Parshu Ram to Nirba Nirba of course is one of the uh, players from Storm Chasers although she is not playing much this year for Storm. But still, as you can see, both sisters, Saitra, who's playing for Icebreakers, and uh, Nirba. What time? Unko nine se bhi utha lo, and they will just come and catch the disc, and they'll be super super safe. Uh, so that's a score, which means they've brought one back. Uh, five four. Now the score is to Bomb Squad. Uh, you can see a little bit spring in their uh, in their step as well. Sab log abhi bhag bhag ke aare, kafi sari taliya bhi baja rahe hain. Eight thirty five. Akil, 8:35, 9:15 is the finish. 8:35. So they're up by one. Akil just inquiring how much time is left to go because uh, I think they're just trying to maintain that lead, and uh, that's what they should be doing ideally. They should just keep on converting their offenses and try and get a break if they can by forcing uh, a deal. तो स्ट्रैटेजी के हिसाब से आई थिंक इट्स वेरी क्लियर बॉम्ब स्क्वाड बोथ द पॉइंट दैट वी सॉ एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दे आर ट्राइंग टू प्ले अ जोन बिकॉज दे आर ट्राइंग टू इंश्योर दैट देर इज अ लिटिल बट ऑफ विंड पुट अ लिटिल बट ऑफ प्रेशर एंड बोथ टीम्स आर डूइंग दैट वी सॉ आफ्टर बर्नर्स ऑल्सो प्लेइंग द जोन आई थिंक इंस्टेड ऑफ प्लेइंग द जोन एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई थिंक वन ऑफ द टीम शुड एक्चुअली प्रॉबेबली बी लुकिंग एट 
प्लेइंग अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ लेन पोच एज वेल मे बी बिकॉज टू कट डेंस बिकॉज जैसे ही ब्रेक थ्रो हो गया एक ही ब्रेक अनी गॉट कम्प्लीटली ओपन अप एंड ही वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री अनी इज ऑल्सो जॉइंट अस टू हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ वॉटर बट ऑल्सो टॉक लिटिल बिट अबाउट यूर असिस्ट अनी यू गेव अ यू गेव वन साइड कट एंड देन यू रियलाइज के नथिंग इज हैपनिंग यू वेंट कम्प्लीटली दी अदर साइड विच वॉज ब्रिलियंट एंड दैट ओपन अप द मूव एंड देन ईजी फिनिश फील a certain side or a certain wing while they playing the zone defense so the call uh, at the starting was to just see which side that is and uh, just try to overload on the other side one thing that we struggling maybe on defense is um, they've they've got the puts so they're taking a lot of the deep shots i think there has to be a considered effort from our team to maybe uh, have somebody play deep or stay behind the person but i think Uh, we just need to play a bit more experienced and try to like block out of the lanes then trying to do everything at once the first time only guys where you actually see and only in ultimate you only see this in ultimate where a player actually walks out and he will talk to the uh, commentators as well first time uh, only guys where you actually see and only in ultimate you only see this in ultimate where a player actually walks out and he will talk to the uh, commentators as well so now again afterburn is also playing the zone uh Mana has just popped in. Shushma with a with a famous orange cap has just stepped in. Nice break throw to open up the cup by Akhil. That is a deep throw. Will Angini get it? I think she should get it. Oh, that was a good look actually by Sagar. But now what this has done is this just put a little bit of pressure on uh, the team bomb squad as well because they were up a break. Now this gives the opportunity to afterburners to play chill offense. and then just make it even stevens uh, it was a nice look thoda sa if you would have just held it a little bit if the disc would have not fallen if they just held it then i think angini would have uh, definitely reached it uh, but nice uh, look for sure uh, the execution could have been a little bit better hardik is walking up to the disc looks like they are going to play person and it seems like they are trying out the bracket i think so because there is a uh there is a break yes there is a inside lane pose there is a break pose as well which means that they are looking to play bracket uh, you can see shushma cutting the ins you can see angini cutting the ins hardik is looking and hardik has broken yeah that was a nice really look for the dump he has look for the dump uh, hardik again looking for one more person arav is on the disc will he try and put it through no he is shushma has just come on to him that's nirba with one of her famous in cuts now she's looking for a dump she's trying to think who is there uh, gives it again to arav arav now looking for a player victor calls for it victor gets it number 89 victor victor right oh ananya has just dropped the disc which means the chance is again there see this is exactly what i was talking about This is exactly what I was talking about. You can actually see visibly that the afterburner cup is tired. It is there, there is absolutely no wind. I don't understand the logic. I don't understand the logic of these teams playing uh, cup. They're just tiring themselves out. You can see Victor is really uh, panting now. You can see Chavi's again. The cups not really getting the formation right. Manav doing the one two. It should be swung. If it swings to Shushma, it will absolutely open. I think afterburners are doing zone because they want to make them uh, do a lot of throws and not get those easy one deep shot, and that's a nice score. Uh, I think Vikas. I think that's Vikas Thakur. Vikas Thakur. That's Vikas Thakur to Angvi. Uh, that, but that was pure luck actually because honestly they gave the disc away. after giving the disc away they got got the opportunity to get the disc back which is uh, quite surprising and that was a really nice cross field put low fiery shot by vikas thakur a low fiery shot by vikas thakur looking for angini and he absolutely finds her angini has actually been a really good player when we played against when she played against ice breakers as well tire i thought i was really impressed by her game a uh, good game sense safe hands knows exactly when to run deep when to stretch the field uh, so quite quite surprising in fact i i, I as you were saying ke afterburners ki team bhi kafi achhi hai ladkiyon ka lineup bahut acha hai but mujhe lagta hai by far i think bomb squad has got the best women lineup they have uh, an excellent quite a balanced squad 
uh, in terms of uh, male players and female players both i think they have spent if you uh, see the amount they have spent on female players and on male players are 64 to you are also distributed quite uh, equally which is what i feel now on now on bomb squad bomb squad we have uh, i can see krish there's jaktap there's swayam there's sagar then you have Angi, then you have Shushma, and at the last, I think there is. Hmm? Forty minutes after. The half is at forty minutes. Uh, after after this point, the point has not started. It'll, the half time will start in uh, ten seconds. I think if they pull, then there is the half time. If they call it a half time right now, they call it a half time. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. 3, 2, and 1. And it's half time, but I think they have, they have started. They have started. It's, it's, they have called the lineups. So I think they won't be able to take a half right now. But the rule of the half is that uh, the half will be at 40 minutes. Or if you score 7 points first, whichever is earlier. And we just have, a, we have just hit our... Uh, 40 minute mark so I think after this point we will have a half time the pull went out and the disc comes back to the break point to the break mark that's a good breakthrough said Tataria Ani back to Faizan good one Faizan Good look back, a dump to, dump to Athir, and I think there's a pick call by Krish. Krish can catch up. Krish can catch up to sit Tataria. What, what do you think, uh, Tahir, about uh, Krish this time? I mean, I, I know that he plays for FS Strikers, and again, like b even when we were actually playing against them, that support will, he's looking for Faizan. Will Faizan get there? No, they won't. A risky shot. A chance to actually get one back. Okay. I, I thought, I mean, I thought Atir and Faizan exchanged a look. But yeah, whoever would have caught that would have been really a nice uh, catch. Uh, but Krish, uh, coming to Krish uh, Tahir, what do you think? I mean, I know that when we were also playing against them, uh, he leads FS Strikers, has been really a phenomenal development. Uh, playing under Sagar's coaching as well. Uh, what did you think? I thought that his performance could have been a little bit better in the first game. I think the handlers didn't support him very very well. I think he had some really good cuts in the deep, but uh, the throws really didn't connect. But I think he had some really good runs. Now the disc, the disc, that's a... Uh, the disc is with... It's, it's with Swayam, and Swayam takes that shot, I, I, that's gone, that's gone. I think they could have more patience right here. Uh, just before the half, you just have to convert those one offense point and just score. So that the game goes up by one more point in favor of Bomb Squad. I travel call. I didn't think that it was a travel call, but I don't know. I can't see. A good cut by a good in cut by Ani. Hi and a shot by why you have to have patience with the discs. Sit Tataria, come on. You you should not take those shots right now. You have to pick. I'm not understanding Tyre. Why why is it that both teams, there are so many turnovers, and this actually is something that we saw in two of the matches that we played as well. All teams are trying to go for shots, taking hucks, which is good, which is good, but I think especially on a D point when you're getting that break, it's so important to convert those Ds. There you go. He's taken this one again. The disc is going to be floating. It is Atir versus... Oh, yeah, good one, good one. That was actually nice boxing really? out. Uh, no, <laughs> neither of them actually got it eventually. But but then, uh, it again, you see, last four points we've actually seen, last four puts, we've seen both sides give it up two times. Atir threw it from here, then Swam threw it from there. Again, Sittataria threw it from here. Again, Kunal Jakab threw it from there. I'm not really sure why is it that they are actually not learning from their mistakes that they need to just swing the disc, keep it simple, stick to the basics, especially if they are on deep, you know. 
Yeah, I agree with you. I think more patience is required with the disc. And I think hopefully, and both teams have, I think, two-two timeouts also. So if you feel like you should take a timeout. That's that's a that's a foul call by Ani. So in ultimate, the best thing is that it's a self-refereed sport where if any call, a uh, players can f uh, call fouls and they can discuss those foul calls amongst themselves. That's a very good thing. What do you think, Bhavya Bhai? Absolutely. I think uh, that's one of the best things about this sport as well because spirit is so important. Uh, because spirit is very important, hoti hai, uh, honestly. And as you said, it's a self-refereed sport. Hai. So which means that the two players are going to solve it with their own players. Sid Tattaria has just sent it to... Oh, Sharan, that's a nice put. Could have actually been a D, but, but she pulled him out of that and that's a strip call. It is going to be a strip call for sure. Uh, Sid Tattaria, Kunal Jakta, both... Oh, he's given it. It's a turnover. Wow, that's some really nice spirit there by Sid Tattaria. We thought that it was going to be a strip call. But Shushma has a day. Shushma has just sent it to Krish. Krish is now... Krish is now looking for Swayam. Swayam has sent it to... Uh, he's looking for a cut. It's a upline cut by Krish. Krish has handled this. And he's going to force line. It's obvious. But there's a breakthrough. Really open. Kunal Jaktab. He can't take that hammer. It's easily available. But he chooses the easier throw to score to Swayam. And that's a score for Bomb Squad. Which means that they have now extended that lead two seven four it's obvious but there's a break so this again really open uh, uh, guy is a clear example he can take of a what hand. Hand. can be done as you saw mm -hmm. the dono sides say turnovers pe turnovers ho rahe the then they were putting the uh, then they were putting the disc and hucking it at both ends but now after the d happened bomb squad decided that they need to just keep he can take a hammer it's easily available easy. Uh, try and give a little clean up lines. Hey, half time, half time. Akil. Akil. The half time half. is called. Half, half. Half time. So we've got another guest with us all the way from Chennai, Visalpoda. That is, yes, Visalpoda. Sorry, excuse my. <laughs> uh, Mumbai Indian supporter, yeah. So, but sorry. So that Sudarshana, Sudhu, and now the commentary box has officially been taken over by the icebreakers. There is nobody allowed over here uh, except for the icebreakers. Sudhu is also this year playing for icebreakers. So, Sudhu. How is your, uh, while the halftime is going on, how has your experience been day one of MUL, uh, first MUL for you? It's been great. Uh, all the teams are competing with high level energy. I don't see anyone giving up at any point and everyone's having fun. So it's going good as of now. Great. How was day one for you personally? It was very good. Um, this is my first time playing with people from Surat, Mumbai and this side of the country. Uh, it's not a lot different, but still it's a lot of new people, different plays, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Great, awesome. So for everybody who actually probably does not know or who's been seeing on this side, Sudhu actually played for Rising Rajalis in the Bangalore Showcase. No, I didn't play. Okay, <laughs> correction. <laughs> Oops, okay. My teammates uh, played. I play for Callahan's. No, no, but I, in the Bangalore Showcase, I'm saying. Okay, I stand corrected, which obviously means I've not done my homework very well. And it obviously means that it's a foot in the mouth syndrome. But nonetheless, uh, we are very happy with uh, Sudhu's performance today. I mean, we call it Sudhu, but otherwise Sudarshana. Uh, so it was quite good. And while the timeout is going on, both the teams are again uh, calling and just reinstating their strategies. I like the strategy by Bomb Squad. They are relaxing themselves because they've already played one game in the heat. So they decided that, okay, let's just sit down and relax instead of standing. And once again, we would like to thank our sponsors, of course, Refex. 
Mumbai Ultimate League is brought to you by Refex and organized by Off Season Ultimate. Uh, also, our broadcasting partners are Sportscast, the Jersey partners Agile. So, we'd like to thank all of them for the support that they've basically given up. This is just the beginning. Score, score. 7-4. So, the score is 7-4. It is really funny that the teams who are playing, they don't keep any check on the score. Which in a way is good because as they say in ultimately you should always start tired 0-0. Every point is 0-0. I never understood the concept of this. That 0-0, 0-0 score. What is, what is the meaning of that? It's to uh, keep your heads up and don't worry about the score. You just play it for fun. Uh, the score doesn't matter. You give it your all in all points. And but it a team ahead should know the score. <laughs> So, so you don't get complacent uh, is what I feel. Even uh, as a captain of Storm, if someone asks me during the game what is the score, I just tell them that the score is 0-0. You don't care about the score, you play, you give it your all and you get all those D points. One by one and one by one. How's, how's, uh, how's, so Storm this year, of course, is a new team, uh, Tahir. Of course, we've kind of like become a development team this year. How's the development coming? How's the team shaping up for this year? What are your thoughts uh, so far? I think we have uh, great plans for Storm this year and hopefully we are able to execute it. Uh, I know just a shout out to Max, Sam Shetty and everyone who's come to a coach. And also last year we had this problem that uh, all the experienced players of Storm, I think after Covid they left the city and uh, all all was left was a B team. But yeah, that's a very good thing because B team had a great 2019 season where we uh, ended up uh, at second place in the challenges. And uh, I have high hopes for the team. And it's a great opportunity for me also to learn and learn and uh, get into that leadership zone and everything. And that's a great space. And also at MUL, thank you, Bhavya Bhai, for giving me that opportunity of becoming the spirit captain. And I'm having a, I think I have a, I'm trying to be a good leader in the, in the squad. And thank you. So for uh, many of you, I mean, a little off topic for the people who actually don't know, Tyre and I have been playing together for a bit and uh, we actually were part of Storm B and uh, I think we really, we really, really played well that year to reach second and since that time our chemistry honestly has just been building both on and off field. Uh, so which is, why, which is why you actually see a lot of the things that we do together. It really helps and shapes up the team as well. But now, coming back to the game, the score is 7-4, uh, which is a three-point lead to Bomb Squad. The lines are Manav, uh, you can see Sagar, you can see uh, Storm's very own Puneet, you can see Shushma with a famous orange cap, and you can see on the other side, Akhil with the orange uh, boots. We actually share the same orange boots. Uh, and of course... And we also have a newer player, uh, she is, uh, uh, she seems a little petite, but trust me, we already played against her, she is quite good. The throw has been pulled, the brick has been called by Manav on the other side, afterburners are of course playing KP, they are playing uh, Hardik who is the captain, you can see Faizan as well, Nirba and Sharanya, who pretty much are playing savage, they become a regular feature on every line that we've seen, whether it's offense or defense. Uh, let's see what the play is going to be called, uh, it is a brick call. But it doesn't look like they're actually doing a cup. It looks like they're doing pure person. And from where KP is standing, it looks like it's going to be a force forehand. Uh, Sharanya is marking the outs, which... No, it's still forehand. And it's strike now. Is it strike? Oh, it's strike. Oh, okay. Now the force is still... It's a deep shot. I think KP is absolutely going to get this one for sure. No, he's not! Oh! KP was really put his afterburners on that one and he was like, let me just go for it. That was a nice look. Good run, good run. Yeah, it was really nice run. If you see, we were just calling that he's actually on the half line, but he made all of that ground, which is really good. Uh, great look by Sagar. Uh, Sagar, of course, who has been coaching uh, for a long, long time. He's also the coach of FS Strikers, uh, plays also a lot with Jimbish, uh, someone who's uh, very respected in the community as well. He is the captain and the coach for Bomb Squad as well, and he's really known to, for taking these hucks. Hardik is walking up to the disc. Manav is going to mark him. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion. Sagar and Akhil are still trying to discuss what the strategy is going to be, but Akhil's 
player which is Varun has just got a brilliant lead. He just put his jets on and just ran and that's a throw and that's going to be a D. That is not a good look. I mean, after getting a defense and Shushma is running deep, he's going to see will how they get it. This, this is definitely outside. This is outside. This is outside. Oh, has she got it? No, it's out. They are calling it out. Uh, let's see what Shushma's call is. Uh, we are just going to wait and see. Shushma is still trying to wait for the confirmation. Shushma is in two minds and she is shown excellent spirit. Both Hardik as well as... Uh, as well as the as well as uh, KP said that it was out and that was superb spirit by Shushma. They incidentally play for the same team, uh, by the way. Uh, Tahir, uh, Shushma's orange cap is like really very clear, right? We should assign colors for caps as well. Sharanya comes in with a breakthrough, great dump. She does that day in and day out. Nirba and Sharanya will keep, and that's a hard luck. Puneet, he's been developing very well. KP looking for upline, Hardik has found it and he's oh, gone for it deep. He's gone for it deep, he's actually thrown it to, he's thrown it to a completely different player, but, but Fezan going over there and I think rescuing him. Well, what a put by Hardik, I think that was a fumble, but he had that look in his mind where he was seeing uh, Fezan going deep and there was Sagar back at the deep, poaching, but he just took that shot. And this is, I think, I feel like the momentum is shifting to the afterburners. And, and you know, you could see a little bit of swag as well after Hardik hit that shot. Hardik hit that shot and Hardik looked at us and he's like, bro, I got this man. <laughs> How important, by the way, actually you spoke about momentum, Tahir. How important is it in a match like this or in any match that we're playing at MUL? Because the competition is so high. Uh, all teams are really putting in their 100%, they're giving the extra efforts. How important it is to maintain that momentum? To maintain the momentum is very easy. I think uh, I'm really happy that this year, MUL, I think the teams are not imbalanced like last year. Last year, I, I felt like two, three teams. I think last year also, I think teams were equal enough, but uh, due, to, due to COVID and uh, other problems, I think people moved out and the, there were some players who were not available. Like afterburners, there was a lot of player, players who were not available. And this year, I think afterburners and I think all the squads are quite equal. And it's quite balanced. And I think any team on a given day has a chance uh, to win the game. And I think you, I think Bhavya Bhai, you and me, I think we have a different mindset. Uh, we don't believe in like good players, but we believe in like having a good mindset for that game. And if you have that mental ability uh, where you can keep calm, under pressure, where you can uh, give your best, that is how a player is defined. Absolutely. Absolutely agree with you. And that's exactly been our philosophy. Uh, whether it's Tom, whether it's uh, icebreakers, you know that we've always put money on those people who actually are able to stay calm. It's not necessary. They need to have the best of the skills and show like the best of the talents. People who do the basics right, handle the pressure. I feel, ah, the the, yes, you the can moment. see the momentum shifting as Tahir called it right. Now, the, the difference is only actually two points. Athir is actually saying, Chilio, calm yourself down. Hardik walking up to the disc. He is just going to swing it to Varun. And Hardik also has a spring in a step. Is that, oh yeah. Is it a score? Yes, it is. That is a, they've got two breaks by Tahir. Wow, look at that. Look at the momentum. Look at that. Everybody is like kind of going and you can hear the noise. I don't know, I just had a feeling uh, after that last point which Hardik, Hardik Bhai scored and the way the momentum was shifting back. Because you can actually see the bomb squad having their heads down and everybody is just walking, they're not cheering up. Uh, you have to pull your team back up, is what I feel. No matter you give up the point because there will be a point in the game where you will lose points. But you have to, everyone has to carry everyone up. Let's go Akin, let's go! Now the game is left to just one point different. And I'm hoping that after one is score one point and the match gets more interesting because the timer is also clicking down. Uh, if people don't know, like it's uh, in Surat Showcase and Bangalore Showcase. So we have this concept of hard cap. But in Mumbai Ultimate League, it's a buzzer system. The time goes up, the game is over at the right moment. If the disc is up, whenever the disc touches the ground uh, or if someone grabs it, the time is over. So that is very important to maintain your time.
I think as a as a as a neutral person as well, I think I would uh, I I completely agree with Tahir over there. Honestly, now the the lead is only one point. One point. Yeah. So if afterburners manage to get this D and turn it around and score, then you will really see the sort of metal that Bomb Squad is made of. The reason is because they would have ideally lost three points, and after losing three points, the body language automatically tends to become a little down. Uh, and as you can see, two back-to-back -back breaks for afterburners. They are charged up. On the line is KP. Ani, you can see Victor as well. He's taken a long break and he's come back after playing in the cup. You can see Fezan, who's having a good game. Nilba Sharane, I think, till the end of tomorrow as well. They will keep on playing Savage. <laughs> you can see Ananya as well. Now, who's made the line? Hardik has taken a break. Arthur has taken a break. Uh, which means that uh, the pull is going to come in. And that's a brilliant pull oh against God. the wind. That too, that's a brilliant pull. And Sagar is going to get the disc. He's looking for Shushma. Shushma gets the disc. Oh, they are playing the cup again. That's wow. The cup line. That's the cup line. Oh, it is a cup line. That's a swing. Where is the Krish to swim? One, two. I really think that should not have been played at this point of time. I really think I that's think not a good call. Okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Again, Shushma is now looking for a dump. Ananya should get this. Ah, if Ananya would have put good pressure, there was a possibility. Where is the wing? The wing is absolutely nowhere to be seen. Who's playing the wing? The wing is actually two behind. That's a score. That's an easy score. Ah, ah. I think that was uh, when your zone was not working in those previous points. I think you should have not put that zone. But I think it it, it feels like after Werner was trying something there. And the game difference goes to two points, but after burners will be on offense. So we've ordered uh, 18 shawarmas. <laughs> We had, uh, I think after winning two matches, Bhavyabha is too happy and uh, he's ordering 18, 18, 18 shawamas for everyone, for the entire team. So, I've just ordered on Zomato. Hey, sorry guys, irrelevant information. Tahir is just very happy like myself that icebreakers have won two out of two. But, as you will know and if you've been following the team, nothing less is even acceptable. <laughs> Ani is still contemplating. He could have... I think he was playing the wing and I think as the wing he was playing way back, he should have really pinched a little bit on that handler, which obviously he didn't. And now Arthur is also giving a little bit of uh, information. Shananya and Ananya have finally taken a point. Nirbha is still in there. Uh, Chavi has also come inside. You can see Sit Tataria, you can see Hardik. Uh, there is Parshuram, whose body's probably cooled up a little bit because he is still stretching now. On the opposite side, you can see Shushma, who's pretty much playing savage. You can see Steffi. Manav is going to pull and that's a nice pull. Angini, Manav, Kunal Jaktab, Sagar, Shushma, Virag Lakhani. And you have uh, Soumya who's on the line for... Hardik is just sent one deep. Manav versus Arav and Manav, Arav has come through with it. That is an FS striker. Both of them with the FS strikers and they've actually got a door. Oh, what a beautiful cut by Arav there. And Arav is pumped. Arav is pumped. He is sent the disc saying that look, I got, I skied you, I got the disc and now I've also finished it. And the fun fact is that Arav was an unsold player at... Uh... So Arav was an unsold player. 10 minutes. 10, 10. 10 minutes to go. So Bhavya Bhai, I think he's a bomb squad supporter. I don't know why. <laughs> and I am an afterburner supporter. So on record we have <laughs> Bhavya's good friend Akhil, and on the other side we have Athir, whom I am supporting. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I think on the other field we have uh, Cutting Chai taking the lead from Grumpies. I think Grumpies was uh, Gr Grumpies were up by one point. Just giving you guys update. If you if you guys want to check out the game on the other field, that's also going very close. I feel like all the games at MUL this year would be very very close. Uh, even Icebreakers versus Bomb Squad, we were down by one point. Icebreakers was down by one point, and then they this managed to win. We were up by two, then we went <laughs> down by one, and then he came back. It was a full seesaw match, and I think I, I just saw I just saw a drop on the other field. I think that's Messi on the other side. So on the line, this line we have uh, same Kunal, we have Victor, we have Hardik, we have Fezan. And um, I, I don't know why I feel that they are still going to go with that zone line. So the pull is going to come in and KP with another amazing pull it really nicely floats, gives the chance to gives the uh, team the chance to actually just go and now they finally f gone onto the person and they are also playing some lane poach, is it? No, no they are not. They are actually playing only person, which they should have done, uh, continue playing what they have done, force is forehand, Victor is bidding for the forehand force as well, Krish with the days, Krish has sent it up. It is Sagar versus Fezan and Sagar boxes out really, really well. Excellent boxing out over there and Krish and Sagar who actually have been playing for a very long time. Uh, Sagar, the coach of FS Strikers, you can see the chemistry and understanding over there. Uh, just one look, just one eye contact and the disc was sent across. So now the score is again difference of two points three points again so bomb squad have managed to uh, mount up that lead again if you remember just about five to ten minutes or seven minutes back uh, so the teams are actually just inquiring whether a timeout can be taken so as you know that as per the rule you cannot take a timeout which is within five minutes of the end of the game either the half or uh, the end of the game uh, in mul uh, so uh, i think they have just called for the timeout uh, and both teams are just trying to catch a breath uh, bomb squad now with a lead of three and as I was just mentioning about five minutes back, that uh, for some reason when uh, bombs, uh, when afterburners got two breaks back to back and they had just brought down that, uh, cut off that lead by just one point, for some reason they again chose to play the zone and that zone uh, again turned the momentum and now it has become a little balanced and now the match is gone in favour of bomb squad. Akhil is giving uh, some instructions, still trying to pep up his team. Uh, on the other side, now the shoulders of afterburners are a little down because they know that the lead has opened up again. Uh, the wind has picked up a little bit as well. Uh, what I'm also seeing is uh, is that both teams, honestly, are not doing anything except for either a regular three-man cup zone or uh, doing a normal person defense. What I think either of the teams probably and especially afterburners I think what they should try is they should put a lane poach which should be there the reason is because uh, bomb squad is really taking those hucks they connected a few which is the last couple of points they didn't connect a few earlier but uh, if you put a lane poach over there then the chances of minimizing or mitigating those long hucks uh, might be uh, less uh, which will also ideally help them which means that there'll be more swinging there'll be more running around uh, it'll make it a tad more difficult for afterburn uh, for bomb squad so on the line now we have on the bomb squad we have kunal jaktab uh, you obviously have shushma you have krish you have puneet you have swayam and sagar is giving the uh, the instructions we obviously have our petit friend as well unfortunately i still don't know her name i'm really sorry about that uh, on the other side, we have Ananya, we have Sharanya, we have Atir, we have Nirba, we have Hardik, we have Arav, 
and we have Parshu. Uh, a nice floaty throw. Will it go out? No, it won't. It's going to land inside. Wow! That was a great throw. And you know, Puneet is a sprinter, and you can see that he actually sprinted out. Uh, Ani! Aarte looking to Sharanya, and he just said Podu Podu, which means give it to me, look at me. And Aarte has just gone it deep. Will Anina get there? Looks really unlikely. That is not. I mean, the idea was right. The execution could have surely been better. And again, as you can see, the hucks have restarted. And the hucks, if the hucks don't convert, they look, they don't look that great. And if they convert, like they did when they did it previously, uh, they look fantabulous. Hardik is screaming. The the force is going to be line. I think Hardik has realized, and Hardik is going to play poach. No, he's not. He's actually waiting for the disc because the disc has gone out from here. Uh, Sagar, Swayam has picked up the disc. Sagar and Swayam discussing some strategy. Yes, they have actually now employed a different strategy and they finally, I think it seems like they've heard me. I was just talking about putting in a lane pole so that they don't, uh, they don't uh, get any hucks, easy hucks, especially now they're, when they're playing against the wind. Uh, Nirbha has walked into that position. She is going to try and put a lane push, but he's still going to look for that. That is what exactly the lane push does. High release, Kunal has got it. Arthur left him. Uh, now, Kunal looking for Shushma. Swayam is again, and Shushma again, a beautiful in cut. Will she go for it? It's. That was a nice put by Swayam. A rapid, rapid backhand blade, and Puneet almost got the disc. He got the fingers to it, and then he just went off, uh, uh, frankly. Uh, but yeah. I mean, if you would have caught that, it would be nice. But the underdogs now again, after burners were three points down, now get the opportunity to get one break back, Tahir. Uh, so, as I, as, I, as I was saying, that it's a time buzzer game. And you have less than five minutes on the clock. I think it's last two minutes of the game. And it's very difficult to score three points. And I feel that it's gone. The game is gone from after burners and it's a, it's a score. If this scores, if they get a score now, it's going to be very, very. They'll open yes, up a it's four done. point it's, lead. It's done. It's done. The game oh. is done and dusted. And they score. And you can see. Akhil. <laughs> Akhil is excited. Akhil knows how important this score was because a four-point lead with five minutes to go is. Almost, almost next to impossible to come back. And also, afterburners have also realized it. They are scampering to the uh, to the line to ensure that uh, that we basically get those points in, try and minimize those that goal difference. But also, what is important also is that what this will do, Tahir, is that this will open up the table a lot. The reason is because Bomb Squad will now finish if they win this, assuming they win this, they will be a one win one loss. Afterburners will be one win one loss. Cutting chai, I think. Will Cutting be chai will be one win one loss. With one win one loss. Bantai's with one win one, one, one loss. And that leaves only Grumpy's. Uh, what was Grumpy's previous uh, score? Uh, basically, I think they, they are losing two matches. So if they're losing two matches, what this does to icebreakers is they are going to be on the lead. But everybody else, which is below, probably uh, will be. Comes down, boils down to. Uh, Net goal difference. Goal difference, exactly. So, which is exactly what I'm saying. So, that's why it's very important to at least, afterburners should get at least one or two back. If they get at least one or two back in these two, three minutes, then that will bring down their goal difference quite a bit, uh, which will help them eventually as well at the end, right? Yep. Uh, it is 45 seconds and there goes the disc again. Now... Manav is really taking his time. He's walking up to the disc as if he doesn't even want to reach there. Which is obvious, understandable, because naturally he'll waste time. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. There is a score and that's a five-point lead. Oh my, this game is over. So, everybody is again scampering on the other side. Uh, they know that they need to basically get that, get that team. But... You can almost hear the countdown. It was 45 seconds before this. And it looks like the game is over. Five points. What is the final score? 
So final score was 10-6, which is a four-point lead to Bomb Squad, which was really nice, and uh, which, which. So they will line up now, which is a very important part of the game uh, for people who might be new to this uh, this sport. Uh, they line up. We appreciate each other. There is always a spirit circle as well, but unfortunately, because of less time, this uh, in MUL there are no spirit circles which are basically being held, and of course, also as part of a COVID protocol as well, which is good. Safety first, always. Uh, you can see both the teams walking, and once again, before we sign up for the last game of the evening, my name is Bhavya Desai, and I have Tahir with me. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed this commentary. Once again, finally, before we end, thank you so much to Refex, the prime sponsors, the MUL, which is Mumbai Ultimate League, is organized by Off Season Ultimate. Also, our broadcast partners are Sportscast, uh, Jersey partners, Agile India, and make sure that you tune into this channel because in the course of this week, you will see a lot of good plays, you will see highlights, you will see top scores, you will see top defenses, so which will be very very exciting, uh, and. Keep catching a lot of those games at 4.30 next Sunday, live only on YouTube, Off Season Ultimate. Do follow us on Instagram as well, which is Off Season Ultimate off, uh, uh, on Instagram. Go over there, make merry, like, subscribe, share, do everything, and we will see you next Sunday. Thank you, Bhavya Bhai, for that. Uh, just a quick update. We will have a pre-game show. We will have the pre-game show on Saturday and we will be having some surprise guests for the next week where we will be discussing uh, games which were played about this week, the points table which is open now and also the upcoming games we have the next week. Next week, I'll just give you guys an update, the next week that is 5th June 2022, we have Bombay Buntais versus Cutting Chai, the first game on field 1 and on field 2 we have Bomb Squad versus Grumpies. And just to give you guys an update, Icebreakers won their first two games. Uh, then we have Cutting Chai who has won one and won, lost one game. Then we have Afterburners who have won one game, lost one game. We have Bomb Squad who have won one game and lost one game. And then we have, I think at last, uh, we have Grumpies who have lost both the games. And this just opens up the tables for everyone. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you at the virtual studio if you tune into which is on saturday good night shabakher and bye bye